hello everyone good morning so today i'm going to be showing you how i remove stains from the collar of my trench coat and um yeah i searched up youtube to kind of see videos of how i could get rid of stains off of my trench coat and i couldn't really find any detailed video so i thought i would just come up with a video to show you how i just figured out how to do it and um yeah my trench coat is actually a regular trench coat and this particular one is from ralph lauren and i find that the color always gets dirty before the main coat and i when i don't want to take it to the dry cleaners quite regularly i just do this because i find that the color gets dirty first and as you can see i have already started cleaning it you know before i thought to just do a video all right so the things you need are you need a toothbrush you need a soft brush so i would just go in with this toothbrush if you have any kind of brush that has soft brittles is fine you would also need hand wash i just use um, this um antibacterial hand wash i would advise you use a whitish one or a colorless one you don't want to use anyone that has like um, a deep color or a dark color i haven't tried that so i wouldn't encourage you to do that either so you can see i've already started washing it it was much dirtier than this before so it stays are already going You also need um, a steamer or an iron. If you're using an iron, I'll advise when you want to do the last step, you put something on top of it before you do that. So if I'm using my iron, I usually just put like a pillowcase on top of it before I iron. So you wouldn't want to put your heat directly on it. So I've already got, I've already plugged my steamer. So that's already getting nice and hot. So I'll just take the hand wash and i use hand wash here because i feel like you know sweat from your neck is what causes that dirt and that's pretty much bacteria Keep doing this until you can see that it has thoroughly reduced. And once this is done, we're going to take a damp cloth, like a damp towel, and you're just going to clean that out. So you pretty much just keep doing this. Don't use a hard brush because that could damage the fabric. And so you don't use a hard brush. You just thoroughly wash it. And you concentrate on the part that has the most. Yeah, so it's probably also we're pretty much satisfied with the result. And you can use this method for any part of the coat that you feel is dirty. I don't know that this will work for permanent stains because I haven't tried it. But for like dirt that comes from like sweat, this is pretty much all I use to get rid of that. So I'm going to, once I'm done scrubbing, I'm going to take a wet towel, like a tea towel, and I'm just going to dampen it up just a little bit. You don't want it to be soaking wet. And we're just going to clean the soap off of it. Just 
just to get rid of any excess lather you would need. So squeeze it off for any excess water and you pretty much repeat. So, and that is also still cleaning it. You know, it's not just getting rid of the excess lather, it's also cleaning. So you turn it to the dry side and then you just kind of soak it off. Soak it off, soak it off until you're satisfied. And then you put those aside. So all you need is your antibacterial hand wash, a soft bristle brush, some water, a tea cloth, and that's pretty much it. You want the inside of the coat, and then you hide it. You put the color up like this, and then you just go in with this three. three. If you don't have a steamer, you can use your iron and like I said, you just want to make sure you have something over the corner before you iron it. I usually just use like a certain, a certain pillowcase. So that helps. So this steaming part is to get rid of any more any less of a bacteria that is on your collar because when you say on your collar it is bacteria so you want to make sure you get rid of any bacteria and occasionally you can even see your trench coat so that you don't have to take it to dry so nice often so just try and clean it occasionally until you're satisfied with it and once you're satisfied with it so this steaming process is not to dry it off it's just to steam it and get rid of any bacteria you can steam the whole thing while you are it. method of doing it with the cloth and it kind of acts like a steamer because the heat is not directly on the cloth so you do that until the cloth is nice and warm the idea is not to dry out the water. The idea is just to steam to get rid of any excess bacteria. And that's our trench coat. It's nice and clean and all the dirt is off. All I have to do is turn it back the wrong way out and hang it and leave it to dry. I usually put it near an open window or if you have like space in your curtain or whatever, just hang it until it's dry. So I'll be showing you when it's dry, show you what it looks like. Hi everyone, so my trench coat has dried out now and as you can see, it's nice and clean and there's no single dirt on the coat. You can see I've got rid of all the dirt on the collar without having to wash the whole coat and it looks better.
than it was before try this method let me know if it works for you leave a comment in the comment section i hope this video has been helpful if you found this video useful don't forget to watch my other content i like to offer tips and hacks and i love to explore and to find solutions to things so feel free to watch all my playlists and don't forget to subscribe like and share this video thank you bye bye